right guys tonight we're going to be doing uh, some Tuscan butter shrimp um, it's, it's a new recipe for me so it'll be kind of fun to do um, that's what I like to try to do is new recipes or ones I really like to do so we'll give this a shot um, sounds really good so you know like I said we'll give it a shot here we go so you see I kind of already prepped everything got everything cut up um, we need a little bit of everything, so we got, uh, you know, our tomatoes. We got fresh basil, garlic. Uh, we got a little butter, and this is gonna be a lot of fun, I think, um, just because it's, you know, kind of a creamier stuff with the, the creamier sauce, and I like the creamy sauces. So, yep, we'll get this going. All right, so. We got our uh, oil all heated up in our pan. Um, you want that nice and hot for this one. We're gonna throw our shrimp in there. Throw that in there. Just gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. Really, shrimp's like one of the easiest things to cook, really. I mean, when it's pink, it's done pretty much. So, you know, if you just try to keep it nice and even, stir it around a little bit. Um, one thing, too, I, I really like cooking with gas versus electric. Um, some people like the electric ranges, but I like gas because it's hot, it's done. You turn it off, it's off. You know, so either way, you know. Um, either start or stop and it does it does what it's supposed to be where you know with uh, all the other stuff it with the electric anyway it uh, takes a second to heat up and then you gotta wait and I'm impatient so this is perfect for me but. okay so we took our shrimp out it's uh, pretty much done uh, we're just gonna heat the pan a little bit more. We're gonna throw our butter in. Just take and melt that down really good. And be kind of careful with butter because you don't want to burn it. So you want to turn it, turn your heat down a little bit so it doesn't get too burnt. Unless you're going for, there are some recipes where you're blacking stuff where you want a little burnt butter, but this isn't one of them. So you want to make sure your butter doesn't burn. It says uh, three cloves, but for our local grocery store, Harmons has these, they're just these huge cloves that, uh, so it's like perfect. Usually, like if I was buying it somewhere else, I'd put like four or five maybe, just because I love garlic, but where this one is, uh, they're huge, you should see them, they're just massive. This is actually one of the smaller ones right here. Um, most of the time they're just pretty, pretty big. You just want to do that until you can brown them just a little bit. And then we're going to throw in our our uh, tomatoes. Salt. You should get it right. 
grill in the boiler. Yeah, so we're going to let those cook just a little bit until they're ready to burst is the best way to put it. So those are looking pretty good. We're going to add our spinach now. Um, it says about three cups. I just kind of throw some in until I feel like it's good. Yeah. Just let that heat up until it's like, wilted. That's when you do it. You know, sometimes I wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing. All the garlic and the butter in it. Um, just incredible smell right here. We got to wilt a little bit. put in our Parmesan cheese and our heavy whipped cream. Now I've tried doing different ones with like half and half just to cut down the calories and stuff and it really most of the time doesn't turn out so good so I'm just going to stick with heavy whipped cream. Um, also we're going to throw our little some basil in there and then just kind of let it simmer. Turn that down a little bit. Just kind of let that simmer. Give us a nice, good, thick sauce. You just want to oh, just kind of want to get it. It already looked starting to look pretty good. I'd, You just want to let it reduce, you know, your, the amount of your sauce just a little bit, so it's not uh, and maybe thicken it just a touch. You don't want a ton, but you know. Okay, so I think we're good there. We're just going to put our shrimp back in. Now that that's, the sauce is all done. Just gonna stir that in really good. bit of lemon juice to it too. Not a lot, just a, just a little bit in there. And stir that there a little bit, get that to uh, heat it up really good. This it smells so good. It looks pretty good too. But, well, at least I think it looks good, but I'm a little biased, so you know if you guys like it, great. Just gonna heat that back up and we're gonna throw that on a plate and then we're gonna eat, which is the main goal here. Alright, so there's our finished product there. Looks pretty good. I gave it a little bit of a taste. I really like it. But uh, if you guys make it, let me know how it turned out for you. Um, I just want to say thanks for everybody that's watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, and the feedback I've gotten has just been incredible. Thank you so much. And then the other thing is, too, is if you like what you see, too, I do post a little bit on my Instagram page. It's Kitchen Mechanic 1997. Um, and anybody can follow it or just like whatever, you know, it's whatever you like to do. Um, and that's it for tonight. Here's to your help.